My dear friends, we are in an unprecedented situation. It appears that reliable signs of the days of Mashiach are coming to pass right now. A remarkable event is taking place at this very moment. Shortly after the beginning of the current conflict, the President of the United States, Joe Biden, dispatched a naval flotilla to the Eastern Mediterranean off the coast of Israel. This group includes the USS Gerald R. Ford, the newest U.S. aircraft carrier and the largest in the world, as well as another aircraft carrier and numerous support ships. According to the U.S. Navy, quote, the massing of ships in the Eastern Mediterranean will be the largest collection of U.S. warships in decades. The stated purpose of this armada is to provide backup and support to Israel and ensure that the current conflict is not widened by our enemies. England and France have also sent naval ships to the region. Ominously, China has also sent naval ships. Thus, already, we have an explosive situation. Here are two Pusukim from the prophecy of Bilam. Please listen carefully. Quote, Bilam declaimed his parable and said, Oh, who will survive when he imposes these? There will be big ships from the place of Kittim, and they will afflict Assyria, and they will afflict Aver, but it too will be forever destroyed. The Pasuk, oh, who will survive when he opposes these, is widely understood to refer to the travails of the Messianic period. Sparno, for example, says the Pasuk is similar to the Gemara in Sanhedrin, which says, quote, let Mashiach come, but let me not see him. Pirke the Rabbi Eliezer interprets this Pasuk as an allusion to the war that Yishmoel will conduct with the entire world in the end of days. Bilam proclaims that no nation will escape this conflagration. And what are the big ships from Kittim? Onkelos, himself a Roman convert, identifies Kittim with Rome. Rashi says, quote, Hittites are Romans. Ramban says, quote, big ships will come from the place of the kitten, those being the Romans. Rome stands for the entire Western world, of which the United States is still recognized as the head. All of Western culture developed from Rome, who are the descendants of Asa, the enemy of Yaakov, who destroyed by a Shani and sent us into our current Gullus. Ramban continues, quote, Now, Bilam concludes his words with the destruction of the Kittim, the Romans, because they are the nation represented by the fourth and final beast of Daniel's dream, which is to be destroyed by the hand of the Mashiach, as scripture states. And this matter is known from the word of our sages that the fourth beast Daniel saw is Rome which exiled us and that is the kingdom that will be destroyed by the hand of Mashiach in the end of days. I'm using the art scroll translation from Ramban on Bamidbar 2424. My friends, please pay close attention. This is a quote from the book Redemption Unfolding. Quote, Targum Yonason explains that in the end of days, a huge fleet of ships will depart from Italy, referring to Rome, the Western world, and they will fight against the legions of Yishmoel, the Arab nations. In the end, both of them, Edom and Yishmoel, will fall into the hands of Mashiach and be obliterated, and Yishmoel will be destroyed. The Malbim says, quote, in the end of days after the children of Israel have returned to their land, the children of Yishmoel and the children of Esau will unite to attack Yushalayim. They will form a world coalition 
against the tiny nation of Israel. But something will go wrong with their plan. The religious beliefs of the children of Yishmael and the children of Esau will clash and the two nations will collide and destroy each other. This is what is referred to as the War of God and Magog. Following this cataclysmic conflict, the final redemption of the Jewish people will occur with the coming of Mashiach ben David. My friends, it appears that we are looking at a fulfillment of Torah prophecy concerning the end of days. Shall we not run to return to Hashem to be worthy of survival at this time? This is a quote from Yecheskel Anavi from the Haftarah we read Shabbos Cholom Wai Tzokas. Quote, Thus says my Lord Hashem Elohim, See, I am against you, Gog, I shall bring you to the mountains of Israel. I will strike your bow from your left hand and I will cast down your arrows from your right hand. You shall fall upon Israel's mountains, you and all your cohorts and the nations who are with you. For I have spoken the words of my Lord, Hashem Elohim. It seems that Hashem is bringing about prophecy events of cosmic magnitude in front of our very eyes. It is important to remember that in its Ryan, only one-fifth of B'nai Yisrael are left with Moshe Rabbeinu, despite having witnessed earth-shaking events. Shomer Yisrael, guardian of Israel, protect the remnant of Israel. Let not Israel be destroyed. Those who proclaim Shema Yisroel, Hashem Hoshia, Hashem, please save us now.